Today, I want to encourage you with some simple ways on how you can encourage and comfort other people in the midst of their pain and suffering. Pain and suffering is something that's not foreign to any of us. There's different seasons, different times where all of us go through just times of pain and suffering. In fact, Jesus told us that all of us would suffer. And I'm so glad that we have a God that became human, that went to the cross to die for our sins in our place, that we can have access to a holy God. And in doing so, Jesus understands great pain and great suffering. In fact, Paul put it this way in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Paul said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us all in our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. How can we comfort others? Because we've experienced the comfort of Jesus. Now, how do we do that in tangible ways? Today, I want to show you three simple ways where we can help comfort others. Number one is simply show up. Whether somebody's in the hospital, whether somebody's at their house by themselves, the simple thing that we can do is just actually show up. It's not about what we say, it's about being there. There's been times in my own life where I've been hurting and I don't remember what people have said, I just remember the reality that people have showed up. So the first thing that we do is show up. The second thing we do is simple, we love. We love people where they're at. We don't need to ask a bunch of questions. We don't need to talk through why they're suffering. In fact, one of the most powerful ways that we can love people is simply by listening, being a listening ear. So we show up and we love. And then thirdly, we encourage the person to look up, to look up to God because God always has a plan, that God always has a purpose. God is always good. He's always gracious. He's always compassionate. And one of the most powerful ways that we can do this is simply by praying with people right there on the spot because prayer makes a difference. I'm so blessed that not only are we comforted by Jesus, but Jesus can use us to help comfort others. How do we do that? We show up, we love, and we look up. Be an encouragement to somebody else today in the midst of their pain and suffering.